I'd like to give you a sample of a form similar to what I'm going to ask you to create. You should create your own boxes and labels, but I want you to basically contain the same sort of components. Unlike what the lynda.com example is showing you this week, I'm going to simplify it. We're going to do a form that just sends an email. So I have a sample of the form here and I have the code here. Let's look at the form first. Let's see what it does. You can enter your information and I can tab between these. And it'll save my default comments. Fun. Experience in web development. Interests. You can select more than one of these. You can submit and you'll see that it actually sends an email to me. Now I don't necessarily recommend this when you are creating a form for a real website, but it's a great way to test the interface. As I showed you in my last lecture, there are three components to creating a web form. In HTML, in this class, we're just creating the form components. Now let's take a look at how this was done. You can see my heading one here, really cool sample form that shows up here. And then I have a label. The label appears here. Then I tell the input size, it's 50 pixels, ID is name, the name is L for last name, the type is text, I close the label, and the break gives me a new line. So I'm doing the same thing for each one of these. And you see with the email size I make it larger and then I have label for comments and this is a text area which gets an ID, it gets rows, it gets columns, it gets a name. Then we also have a select box where you can pick and each one is an option which you start up and start and you close the select and it's surrounded by the label experience in web development and then we have the label for interests with the check boxes here and check boxes allow you to select more than one. The, the drop down box here you can only pick one, here you can select more than one. Now if I hit reset, that clears everything. And that's an automatic default of using a reset button. Submit will launch the email option and where that's happening is up here. Form method equals post. Your encryption type is text plain. The action is mail to colon and my email address. And that's really all you need to do that. And that will allow you to create a form and test to make sure that it's working properly. We'll have other classes to work in the back end programming, but that's out of the scope of this class.